Hey everybody, Terry Lynn here. I indeed am going to have my first taste of black bear. And this happens to be the bear that they shot at the airport, believe it or not. So the reason I'm able to do that is because the man who shot the bear processed it with some help and he actually shared some of it with the staff at work. And this was yesterday. And I, I heard the announcement during the morning announcements. And I was like, hmm, we'll see. And it was sitting in the staff kitchen in a little piece of, piece of, piece of tin foil with some cabbage. And I don't know, for some reason I wasn't really feeling it that day. And it wasn't really that much left. And I don't know, I just didn't. Um, I wasn't really up to it and I just didn't really want to take it. I don't know. So This morning I went into work and It was still sitting there and one of the natives who works there He Said that it actually is good that way when it's been sitting out because I said is this this is bare, right? And he thought so and he said I should try it and I don't eat first thing in the morning, especially a hunk of bear. <laughs> so I was like, well, we'll see. I mean, it's been sitting out, I don't know. And he assured me like, no, like that's fine and that's good and it's actually good that way. So anyway, so at the end of the day, it was still sitting there and I took it, so that was today. So I have it here and I didn't want to microwave it. So I just brought it home and kept it in the tin foil put a cover on a pan and just heated it up that way. That would be good that way. So it's on this plate like this and I'll show you what it looks like. So this, I have never had bear in my life. I heard it's good. So my reaction's gonna be pure <laughs> and raw. So we will see. It's got a little bit of cabbage with it. And I, I don't know if it's seasoned or anything. Like I don't know anything. It looks like, it looks like ribs. <laughs> I'm not afraid, like I'm not afraid to, to try new things, but I don't know, this is, I don't know. Like this is just kind of weird for me. I don't know why, because I'm really, that's what it looks like. Still steaming. Okay, so here goes. Vegans, you really shouldn't watch this. All right, so here's a rib. Ugh. I don't know why I'm so... Oh my, that looks really good. I think I feel bad for the bear. I think that's why. I think my mind is going back to my vegan days for some reason. This is really good. It's not really seasoned that much, but it's super Super moist. It's definitely a little gamey. Hmm. A little bit of fat on there. So that's not bad. It's, not, it's a rib. Looks like. this hunk is I'll show you it looks like another yeah that's just like another rib I guess bigger piece it, it's it's kind of fatty I don't know I didn't really expect it to be lean I guess this is almost it's almost like a roast kind of chewy that reminds me of a roast it's kind of chewy, but it's not tough. It's a tad bit gamey, but not like I'd expected. Hmm. So that's not bad. So it's cabbage too. They just, I don't know how they cooked it. It looks like it, they cooked it in oil or something. Butter. Maybe that's just a fat from the bear. I don't know. All right, so I'm actually going to finish this off camera. <laughs> so it was pretty good. 
Um, there was another bear spotted. Actually, like, there was another bear caught, killed. I don't know if it was spotted and killed or if it was hunted, because they're hunting bears right now. So, um, yeah, it's not that uncommon. Um, I've been, as far as like my diet, um, I've been eating a lot of fish, uh, quite a bit of fish, you know. Um, nothing that I'm buying or, or brought, because I, I have some actually, some uh, sardines coming in, in my packages. I haven't gotten them yet. And I have some packaged smoked salmon, but I haven't even used that yet. I've had so many opportunities for fish, uh, salmon and she fish, S-H-E-E, -E, fish. And I was just told today that she fish with two E's means little fish and she fish with uh, two I's, S-H-I-I, -I, means big fish. And I don't know how to say that in Inupac. I'm probably not saying it right, but I have heard natives say she fish. So I don't know how to say it the other way. But so I've had that in the salmon and that's pretty much all that they have around here. Um, I'm gonna have the winter fish, which is a mud shark or something, um, once the ice freezes and then they go ice fishing for that. And I'm actually gonna go, I'm gonna go ice fishing with um, some people. So I'm trying to remain, I'm trying to, so you know, I'm, I'm trying to maintain confidentiality for my work that I do. There has to be a measure of confidentiality. So I have to choose my words wisely and um, I have to be careful what I show you. So, I don't think I can show you anything over there at work. So I haven't shown you the gym yet. I just came back from the gym though. Um, so I was given permission to move some of the equipment if I want to, which I'm going to move the um, pull down machine. It's in a very awkward spot. And given the 100% okay to do, you know, my workouts up there and, you know, pretty much move stuff around if I really have to but I'm going to try not to. So I can't think of anything else for up. It's raining. <laughs> it was so nice yesterday. I uh, went for a walk. It was beautiful. It was almost warm. It was just, I had a jacket on and I was warm. Sun was shining. This is all this rain and cold is just not normal for this time of year. I just, I'm being told that. So we just have a, a lot of rain. Uh, as far as the house goes, I should be moving there. I mean, at least hopefully I can clean this weekend. I don't know. Um, I think this place will be needed in about a week. Yes, it'll be needed in a week. So midweek next week. So I should be able to get into my place in the weekend so I can clean. And after it's all clean and shiny and I moved in, I'm gonna give you a tour. And also you'll be able to see the incredible view from that house. It's absolutely beautiful, especially when some of the fall leaves are on the ground and we get snow. It should be really beautiful because it overlooks the river. So I'm, I'm really stoked about that. So until next time, see you later. Okay, so I'm standing next to one of the camp. What do you call this? Is it a fish camp it's, or? It's like a um, dry rack. Dry rack? Okay. And, and this here's a salmon. Okay. And they're just drying, she said. Smoke, smoke, From smoke. the smoke. And right, this is she fish right it's here? It's called she fish, yeah. Okay, and, and I've had both those. I mean, I've loved had These are half dried right here. I'm sorry? They were, Mabel cut these a couple of days ago and they're almost dried. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just got smoke in my eye, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I'm like, ooh. So this is the salmon. All right, so that's not all from like today. I can see that no, it's getting dry. Some are from a couple of days ago and yesterday. So it takes like a few days? Yeah. And when does the salmon season end? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. This is super cool. Yeah. I'm gonna get the... So George cooked over the open fire. The fish, he wrapped it in oil oh, and just put it on there. Oh, so he cooked some fresh mm -hmm. stuff? Yeah. Okay, yeah. gotcha. That's so we just, cool. we just had dinner. All right. So I'm standing down by the river and I'm at a different part and I'm just noticing how low it is because if you can notice there's sandbars 
right there and they get progressively more and more visual until like almost two thirds I'd say yeah two thirds of this riverbank is actually a sandbar I use the term sandbar loosely it's <laughs> actually a lot of this rock I guess so I don't know what's up but the water is really low this will eventually freeze uh, we're getting to some into some fall colors right now just starting because when I got here it didn't look like this I don't know if you can really see it it looks like it's a little dark in the camera but it's so quiet down here I don't know can you see the mountains in the, yeah you can see those mountains in the back looks like it's foggy up there it's had a lot of rain so it's been cloudy so I'm kind of taking a daily walk down here after work <clears throat> and doing some intervals on the stairs I've been enjoying that it's been great it's one of those neglected training skills I like to do and I just don't get the time so anyway here's a little panoramic view of where I am this is where I came from up there the road and then there's this so there you have it so is this a caribou Moose. Um, um, oh there's the head yep. let me see that oh yeah He's huge. This is a small size. It's what? It's a smaller size. It's smaller. Yeah. They're way bigger than They're this. really big. That's a huge leg. That's a huge leg. Oh my gosh. First time you see one? Huh? First time you see one in the uh, zoo? I might have seen one in the zoo. But that's... Wow. Okay. <laughs>